This is actually like I, I I know I make fun of Belgium on the stream regularly, right? But they really do make it quite easy on themselves. Turns out the um, Dutch prime minister and the Belgian guy had a meeting recently, and they pulled up this flag. They pulled up this flag. Now, if you're unaware, the Dutch flag is supposed to be red, white, and blue. They accidentally hung the Dutch flag upside down. Considered to be quite disrespectful. Epic fail. Anyways, so they fixed it. This guy, I think he's the prime minister of Belgium or something, made a little video. Mark, bedankt voor uw bezoek gisteren hier in Brussel. It was a good gesprek. He's saying, okay, thank you very much for coming on over to Brussels. It was great. Blah blah blah. We have so many themes where we can come together in Europe. The better security of our borders. Blah blah blah. Right. Yes. So now he's fixing his mistake from earlier, and he shows this flag. <laughs> now this flag is orange, white, and blue. It's still not the correct flag. Now Dutch conspiracy theorists are immediately jumping into this, because this flag was used by uh, extreme right organizations back in the day. The upside down flag also used for that same purpose. I hope it's an honest mistake, or maybe some color grading to this particular shot. <laughs> but my god, man. What I'm saying is the Belgians do make it pretty easy to make fun of them, okay? That's, that's all I'm getting. I don't know if you can see, but the bottom one is kind of messed up. Can you, can you see this, this section right over here? Anti-diarrhea. Hello, Sal. Hello, chatsters. I wanted to ask a question and perhaps you guys can help me. Does anybody know what the current length of ban time is for Loco's stream? I've been banned for over seven months. <laughs> and after multiple... I can't tell you what the maximum duration is on the text-to-speech bot, Fear Dragon. 12 seconds? My god, man. He prepared a whole speech. It started with, hello, Cell. Hold up right now. Wait, 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 wait. Anti-diarrhea posted that in Cell's chat just now? Does anybody know what the current length of ban time is for Loco's stream? Oh, yeah, no, he is one of the few people who's permabent on my channel. Um, in case you're wondering, Fear Dragon, I can I can show you. His copy-paste game is on point, for what it's worth. So it started all in a long time ago. Uh, what a, it was a beautiful day. Spam this giraffe to find out if giraffes lay eggs. He spammed this continuously, all of the time. S spammed his lamb to support tasteless next land. Spam this giraffe. What? <laughs> Spam this Balrog to find out if Balrogs lay <laughs> eggs. Okay, fine. I'll unban him. But I think I'm going to regret this. I mean, it's pretty funny to be honest. For some time, like he he started he started off with that. He started off with that copy paste spam. Oh, I don't think we have the full the history. Giraffe. I mean, always the yeah, actually You know what I'm gonna do, guys? It's time. Slash unban all. <gasps> Nine users were banned on my channel. <sighs> Yikes. Nine entire users left free. Again, dangerous times. Mods molding right now. Years of work down the drain. Loco never unban people. No, no, no. I have been unban people all the time. I tried so hard all the time. The best I got was a six second ban. You do have one timeout. It was for 85 seconds, actually. You had an 85 second timeout, but halfway through that timeout, one of the moderators felt guilty and immediately unbanned you. A new microphone? Leakage voice suppression microfo a microphone? A mute talk? I think I'm good, guys. <laughs> um, a whole new Bluetooth microphone. Bro, even this model that they hired is like, what the f am I getting paid for today? <laughs> Look at him. He's like, what the f is this? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you totally don't look stupid at all. Even for meetings in a noisy place. Are you... Uh, are we are we at this level of awkwardness right now where this is actually a requirement? Where other people seeing our mouth move is concerning? 
I'm living in the past, man. Maybe I am. Maybe this is uh, one of my first signs of becoming an old man where I just don't understand what the younger generation is up to. But like these headphones, right? These headphones he's got already have pretty good mics. So they're on there already. Yeah, I, this will definitely sound better. But I don't think anyone that's doing meetings cares about the sound quality of these headphones that much. Like, I'm sure this can sound pretty good, though. But if you're doing a professional recording or you're trying to do, you know, something that sounds good, you'll probably be doing it in a place where it actually isn't noisy. So it's a bit... It, I feel like this is one of those products that solves a problem that doesn't exist. There's a lot of, there's a lot of products out there that solve problems that don't exist. Maybe it does, I don't know. It's more private, I guess. Bro, is this is this what we're all gonna look like in like ten years? Is this is this the plan? With like one of those mouth gags in front. Of <laughs> Jesus Christ! It even straps in around your ears and everything, man. <laughs> this is what the Zerk Cabal wants, Chet. Don't let him. What if he has to sneeze? That's a good point. We need a nutrition tube. Yeah, that's what we need. If we can have a nutrition tube going in, maybe through the nose, that'd be convenient. That one's still free, man. I see, I see an orifice. A <laughs> this is so, I don't like it, man. The more I look at it, the worse it gets. This look like a BJ machine. Oh, no, Cybers. This is a microphone. I mean, to be fair, it probably sounds good. It probably sounds good. Okay, I try it out. I would try it out, yes. If they would send me one, I would try it out. But this also looks like a device that's like 700 bucks. There's a very good chance this is going to be very expensive. It says it's 200 bucks. That's actually better than I thought it would be. I must say it right now. It's straight up a human muzzle with microphone functionality kek. Yeah, 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 yeah. A moisture absorbing cushion. Oh god, I didn't even consider that. There was- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You obviously spit all over that thing. Eight hour battery life? You gotta ring it out after every stream. <laughs> oh no, man. Let's be real, if this becomes the future, at least two thirds out of the streamers using one of these things would never clean this. It would <laughs> You could just smell it from a mile away. Hygiene conscious. I'll have one of my, uh, one of my jars. I'll just ring it out above a jar, prepared for another stream. God, what a great product. This, this picture over here gets me, man. This one looks kind of futuristic. This one, okay. Like she kind of looks like one of those, uh, one of those science fiction ones where you need like one of those rebreathers on like an Thursday. alien planet, right? This one looks kind of cool. This this one on the left, however, the hands-free one, I it looks like a little pump. This is not a rep artist, Meerkats. What are you talking about? We should just go full helmet. What's the point? That it sounds much better and nobody can hear what you're talking about because obviously if you're talking to a little thing like that, nobody can hear you. Actually, they could hear you. Actually, you know what? I think it could. This guy is in a clan called Hi Oko. Hi Oko. That spelling on the O W K O is a little suspicious, man. Not gonna lie. Was he supposed to be in Clan Hi Loco? Because it's a barcode account as well inside of a, a clan. That makes no sense. Okay, we got stream sniped. A very creative stream snipe. Not gonna lie. Where do you put your overlords on this map? I have no idea. The next step is to make it a full-on motorcycle helmet style. Mm. Completely isolated from the rest of the world. Yeah, exactly. Are we? What are we doing? Where does... Today's okay, no. recipe, omelette. Crack an egg on a preheated pan to 300 degrees Celsius. Cook for one minute. Add giraffe egg. 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 Thank you very much, Memory. Loco, would you play with your brain? There's someone playing Elden Ring with an EEG machine. The online being like, oh no, that's cap, oh, are you for real, etc. So as a final demonstration, no controller, even. What? How does this work? No foot pad, no dance pad or anything. Focusing in. Really though? I I mean you could still fake that easy. But I guess that's possible technically. It just seems difficult to complete the game that way. 
What happened? Well, she's saying she's controlling her in-game character using only her brain. People have already completed all these super difficult games with like all kinds of weird controllers, right? Like it started pretty easy with regular controllers, but very quickly people were using those like Guitar Hero guitars or those rock band like drum kits. When like the hardest games become too easy for you, you gotta get creative. You play IRL with your brain? Me too. An absolute unit of a Sour Patch Kit? Whoa. Battlecruiser operational indeed. Interesting quote from Pig about the pro's reaction to the recent patch. I've noticed that the mood towards the recent patch in this sub has been pure doom and gloom. No, that's every patch, man. So what he said, okay, here we go. This should be a good series because a lot of people have said they're worried about protals. Hydras are a bit better, ultras are a little better, protals change are so small like the Archons being able to fit, blah, blah. But I've actually talked to a lot of protals pros recently and I've laid my fears. They've said, yeah, Hydras suck, we don't care. And I was like, what? And they were like, Ultra suck, we don't care. I was like, what? What about battery overcharge being nerfed? And they were like, it's still strong. It's people killing the battery too quickly for fighting or fighting when the battery is done, which is the weak area. And I was like, really? Most of the top tier Protosses that I've heard talk about the patch don't actually seem to think it's a bad patch for Protoss. Only, only, you know, people that are um, below the pro level seem to feel inclined that that is the reason as to why they're losing. <laughs> the Cabal runs deeper than we imagined. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Only people that think spore crawlers need a buff would think this patch is bad, Keck. <laughs> Thank you, Archival. Apparently my heated blanket plays Protoss. You love to see it. Rare meeting of the Zerk Cabal. Three years ago. Volts has actually been balance whining like crazy, man. I've seen this guy post some crazy on the on the on the subreddit. What, what are we looking at? They're just sitting there? Oh my god, that's so awkward. Is the audio cut or like are they just not saying anything? <laughs> Oops, all zerks. Naturally and artificially flavored. Sweetened corn and oat cereal. There it is, man. Ah, look. Harstam. One of the Protoss players that think this patch is fine. Neural Parasite. It all explains it, man. I knew it. It wasn't to be trusted. Loco, is this a good time to play StarCraft because of the patch? Yes. Anytime is a good time to play StarCraft, though, if you ask me, Jimmy. If you play Zerk, though. Only if you play Zerk. As a Cabal wannabe member, I'm on the uh, list of potential new members. It's quite exciting. You do play Zerk? Good, good, very good. <laughs> no, he wrote GLHF or GLGL on the Cerulean keyboard. How did this build work again? I don't remember how this build works. Is that important when you're doing a build? We're going for a one base Ravager rush. There's a sick macro build. Nothing to say. What's up, Levi? Thank you very much for the 85 months though, dude. That is a very long time. Okay. Sadly, he SCV scouted. Is there a way to play ranked StarCraft 2 properly while not having a lot of APM? As a Zerk Cabal member, I have to tell you that you should play Protoss. Loco, if I play hybrid race, does that make me a bad person? Yes. No, no, of course not. Thank you very much, Andy. You don't need to have super high APM. It's going to be difficult to get to like, I don't know, Master League if you have lower than like 100 APM. But APM is probably not a limiting resource for... Like, obviously, more APM is usually better, but it's not the size of the APM that, <laughs> that really matters. It's about what you do with it. And I uh, truly believe that. I'm a little late here with this push. I should have been... What? Well, that is not what I expected. What? <laughs> Uh, I, there were a lot of things I expected here. Not whatever this was. Solo operative, right? If we damage them, we can cancel the snipe ability.
Oh wow. That was a bit funny, wasn't it? Ghosts are not normally made until you get four command centers. This guy made it. <laughs> he no-scoped me pretty hard, man. I saw it happen. I could see one base ghost if they were buffed, but normally when something's nerfed, people won't touch it with a 10-foot pole. I would say one base ghost openers are probably better because you can manually cancel the snipe ability now, which in the past you couldn't. I don't really see how it would make much of a difference, but... How many balls does it take to kill a tech lab? A tech lab? Probably like six? I know it's seven for a bunker, if I'm not mistaken. So like if you have... Yeah, if you have a bunker that you're going up against, you're aiming for like seven, but... This guy didn't repair the bunker properly, so I didn't need as many. I expected him to do it a little faster, to be honest, but... Remember when mules could mine gas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a little time in StarCraft 2 where they, uh, they could mine gas. And that turned out to be a bit of a disaster for ghost builds in particular. Loco, am I being rude when I say you look like an AI-generated avatar? Yeah, pretty, pretty rude. I think I'll take that as a compliment, but I'm not sure. Maybe am I, am I even a real person? Has anyone ever seen me before? I don't know, dude. For all you know, I could be an AI. He's saying I'm too perfect. Oh, maybe that's what he's saying. So this guy scouts my one base opener and he's like, great. Factory, not today. Ghost Academy. <laughs> I love it. In case you guys are unfamiliar, there's been a panel below the stream that will take you straight to the Streamlabs website, who have been kind enough to sponsor the stream for the entire year. You thought as a subscriber you could block every ad? No, 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 no. Apparently this one. This one you can't. Yeah, pretty excited. So, for uh, if everything goes according to plan anyways, for the entirety of 2023, I am sponsored by Streamlabs to tell you guys a little bit more about Ultra and just to promote Streamlabs in general. So Streamlabs is owned by Logitech, which is pretty neat. Um, got a couple of hardware products as well coming over the next couple of weeks, which should be pretty fun. Actually, I believe I have a, a little panel as well that I can add. Add image right over here. Bam, dude, there it is. This cross, cross clip is also pretty sweet with the option to essentially, oh my God. You can become a TikTok superstar, guys. <laughs> this little example video. Okay, that one's a little bit better. But yeah, you can, uh, you can create Twitch clips. So clips that, for example, the community makes over here. You can convert those straight into a um, vertical clip instead, which for obvious reasons is very helpful if you want to be spreading it on social media. So rather than needing to use uh, video editors, you can do it directly in the browser, which is kind of sick. So I don't know what my most viewed clips of the month are. First low scare of the year. Oh God. What happened? Oh, Loran's walking in okay. right as I'm humming. I think we're gonna go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was not ideal. So I think I can load this directly into CrossClip and then we could make like a highlight clip out of that that I could share on socials, which is actually pretty sweet. So I messed around with this earlier, but it's actually pretty sick. So you can like basically directly in the browser, create a clip that you can share on socials. I don't know okay. if I want my face that go. big on a video, but... <laughs> I think I was humming right as she walked in, which is not quite yeah. ideal. She enjoys scaring me a little too much. How does this work? One minute is a long time, dude. Gaben! I spent 60 bucks on a game that's like 10 minutes long. Or 10 hours, whatever. Download. What do you mean? I did that this morning! <laughs> Press dead space. I clicked that button, I swear to god I did. But now I do get to flex with my internet speed, so I got that going for myself. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I didn't consider that. That is a, a bonus. Yeah, I have gigabit internet, which is kind of nice. I upgraded to that like half a year ago, when I found out it was cheaper than my previous plan. So like when I first moved in here, I had 500 up, 500 down, and it was great. And then I realized I can quite literally upgrade to one gig up and down for like a couple euro a month cheaper. Which was really strange. I'm not exactly sure how that worked, but... When will I be getting 2 gigabit? I think what happened with my previous contract is that they kind of like tried to sneak a bunch of those extra bonus television channels in that were like free for like the first half year somewhere in the fine print and then like after a half year you started paying some money for it. And because I got rid of those it was a little bit cheaper. Your ISP offered you lower upload speeds for $5 a month more? Hell yeah, dude. That sounds very nice. Congratulations.
It was a special offer. Get more or get less, pay more. This is in Bucharest. God. <laughs> For that core flex. That's insane, man. There is definitely an upper limit to usefulness when it comes to internet speed. Now, don't get me wrong. More is definitely better, right? <laughs> How many people, though, make use of a 10 gigabit connection? Logo, come to Romania. We have 10 euro internet. Digi launched new subscriptions for 10 gigabit. In December, the whole city of Bucharest will be covered and then expand into the country. 10 gigabit. So this is the real kicker, guys. So in Bucharest, you can get 10 gigabit internet for 50 lei a month. That is 10 euro. That is $11 for 10 gigabit. <laughs> Absolutely insane. That is insanely cheap, yes. So they are making a profit off of this, right? Basically what this comes down to is that we're all getting f***ed over by our ISPs. Like even though I feel like the Netherlands doesn't have it that bad, this is, uh, yeah, we're all getting wrecked. Why would you even consider two and a half Gs? Well, when's the last time you needed more than two and a half gigabit down? <laughs> like, wh why would you, like, <laughs> I understand it's only a little bit more and it's cool, but like, you know, every day, Loco. Yeah, if you need that 8K VR porn, yeah, maybe, maybe then there's a reason. But yeah, yeah, a lot of new PCs have two and a half gigabit ports. It would be sick. It'd be pretty nice. You're gonna run into a lot of other bottlenecks though, because probably your drive speed and all that is just not fast enough. <laughs> it's actually pretty amazing. Once you hit the uh, SSD speed limits, because your internet's too fast, you're gonna need a new router. You're probably gonna need a new motherboard. <laughs> it, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, for sure. You probably need a new cable too. I, I did put down one of those cables that can go 10 gigabit just in case, because I know that if I ever have to change it, it's gonna be a, a pain in the dick, but yeah. Welcome to the clinic. What a great, lovely picture right here for joining, huh? A uh, skull with a... That's... Is that even a human skull? I don't even... It doesn't matter. I really want to see what happens if I step in there. Oh, it just hurts. It just hurts, guys. It just hurts a little bit. Don't worry about it. Hello? Stop that. Yo, gifting another sub. <laughs> you need a running start. I like how you guys are aware of this. But like, yeah, Loco, I'm also, yeah, yeah, morbid curio. What can I say? <laughs> Face tanking is my primary strategy for every game. It's not even for every game. It's, it's my real life strategy too, man. Like, when you think about it, I made, like, five years worth of videos before anybody ever watched. <laughs> it's the face tank approach of IRL, too. I face tank practically everything. The door? Yeah. My door outside, I face tank that one twice, literally. Don't recommend it. It hurt. Hey, man. So, Chad is telling me I need to step on you. Until you drop... Yeah, you too. Until you drop things. Oh my god, it's a little graphic, isn't it? <sighs> hey man, you also want to get stepped on. Oh, what about you? What about you? Your brother. Okay, you can have a, a party. What a lovely game. This game is very welcoming. It's like a like a warm hug. It's beautiful, man. This game makes you feel like Christmas, you know? It's like Christmas morning. It smells of cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh. Good. Yeah, it's like walking in the park. On a sunny day, the birds are chirping. There's a dog. He's excited to see you. Finally, someone who's excited to see. You know, like, that sort of thing. What's this? 
Is this, uh, I don't want to know. I was gonna make some suggestions about what it could- Oh god. Hey! Hey man! Is he okay, Loco? I think so. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he's all right. Are there still some people in pods? There's also a tentacle type of monster type of thing. I don't know what it does. I suggest we bring out this weapon and I'll just shoot it. Okay. We shot it. Hey, mate, can I stomp on you too? Yeah. Ah! Natural reproduction so overrated, bro. Specimen 426 is ready for harvest. <laughs> I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. D. Here's your clerical or, or error router. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase and one didn't. Guess which, guess which one was suddenly bumped up the vital personnel list. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise word of Hippocrates ro or sh rolls downhill. There you go, man. So wait, are you saying if an important person needs a transplant for something important? They will get it before a pleb like myself. That seems wrong, Chad. I don't know, man. That uh, I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, it's a dog. Oh, that's what we fought just now too. Oh, f all of this. No, 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 no. Hippocrates? Are you trying to correct my spelling right now, Rushy? You? Who says vitamin instead of vitamin? You're such a hypocrite. Yeah. I'm glad they're wearing underwear. That's good. That's good. That's really good. How do I like this area of the game? Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> that was unnecessary, game. Oh, I can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Okay, okay. We're good. Step on it. Go away, always step on it. Always step on it. Isaac also does not seem to be too bothered by any of this. <laughs> Man. I know there are operating robots and all that, right? And they are very impressive, but this ain't it, man. I don't believe this one. Are you a hologram or like, what are you? Move and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many- Why is he strapped down? The crew won't tell us what's happening. <sighs> oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I think you should strap him down tighter. Scientific methods. Uh-huh. Scientific methods, huh? Make us whole, make us whole, make us whole, make us whole, loco, make us whole, make us whole, make us whole, Isaac, make us whole, make us whole, make us whole, make us whole. I will try, man.
Hello, hello. I was just doing some science. <laughs> Not one of those. Anyways, I started blasting. Hey, I hurt you, man, but I didn't know where you came from. Step. Oh, my gas. <sighs> Anyone else? Are you not entertained? Isn't this what you came here to see? Hey, another one. Line them up, baby. And step. A triple step until they drop goodies. This one required a quadruple. Hey, man. Oh, you can cut off their arms. Oh, I just missed every time, I think, up to this point. You guys weren't kidding, though. This game is a little gory. <laughs> A small amount of gore. Just, you know, a tiny bit of it. Me, after seeing Nathanius' name gone from the cut of its a casting list, his career died for our sins. He has sacrificed so much to save StarCraft II from a cabal. Kala bless Nathanius. Jesus. <laughs> did Nate cast cut of its last year? I don't actually know if he did. Maybe. I know he did cast it in the past at some point, but... Ooh. Okay. I don't think that's right. Loco, is it not odd that you were on quote-unquote holiday just before a new StarCraft patch came out? You got me, dude. It was actually a Zerk Cabal meeting that I had to attend to. Can't believe it took you that long to uh, figure it out, but yes. The Cabal is real, man. Did you not see the, the Neuro videos? I saw Nero posting a really good video on Twitter, actually. I think I retweeted it. Yes, yes, come in, come in, come in. Come in, Lambo, Elaser, come in, Scarlet, uh, Rainer. Uh, yes, come in, come in. Cyril, yes. Uh, Vibe, yes, yeah, over here, yes. Yes, everyone, come in. Apoptosis, right, Kessnuts, yes, come in, come in. Welcome, thank you all for coming to another Zerg Cabal meeting. I just wanted to congratulate everyone on the success of the Zergable memes. And by using this meme shield, people have not been suspecting that the patch is actually making Zerg broken. Many of them uh, believe that this is just funny stuff uh, to keep the community from being bored, when really it is our cover against being found out for being super overpowered. Now, I hope everyone has been enjoying the new maps and how absolutely busted and bananas bonkers the Zerg is on this patch. But uh, good work, and make sure you're throwing at least a third of your games so that we aren't found out as being too broken. And always remember to leave a few spots in GM, a couple for the Protoss, and leave about six for the Terran, because they complain a bunch, okay? Thank you. A good little video, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, oh no, Carl, I, I don't need to hear it twice. I think I was okay. I think we're all right. I think it was like the Korean Congress. Yeah, that was a Korean flag at the very least in the background. <laughs> is Zerk actually busted now? Well, the new patch basically gives Zerk a couple percentage points here and there, while giving slightly fewer percentage points to the other races, Grimdy. So for anybody below the top 20, it really doesn't matter at all. But we are all temporarily embarrassed out of the top 20, man. I, I mean, I think we could also... Everybody here. All 156 of us right now could easily be a top 20 player. However, we just uh, don't have the time. So if we had more time, pfft, Sarah would not be a problem at all. Uh, why won't my depot build? There's a Zerkling burrow. There's a Zerkling, dude. Isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Ah, yes. <laughs> it wasn't Zerklings. <laughs> <laughs> it was a full infestation. We love to see it. There's someone uh, karma farming, by the way, on the StarCraft subreddit, I noticed. He's posting things like this. This is this is what gets you karma on the subreddit these days. Remember this Zerk player? Oh? No. 
No f clue. Who's this? No idea, man. I made a wallpaper for the Zerg fans. It's 5k ultra white plus, col plus color grading. I saw this thing yesterday. The color grading, I think, is making her face green at the bottom. I don't really like the fact that it's green at the bottom. I don't know why it is. But yeah, nice, I guess. The Zerg Cabal thanks you. The Zerg Cabal has noticed your contribution. Very nice. Starcraft 2 and the Zerg Cabal. There's a greater spire. Oh, we have Neuro here. Ah. We have Harstam, Scarlet, Lambo, Serral, Rainer. Okay. We all know that Harstam just got neuraled, right? Yeah, look at that. There's once again the neural parasite. Harstam pretending that the new patch is actually fine. It can only mean he's getting paid, people. Wake up. Look, here's that guy again. Remember day nine and his fun day Monday? Look at this guy. Just posting pictures. I have no idea why. So I looked at it's like his, his like profile and he does the same thing with other subreddits as well. Why do people karma farm? What's the point? I, I don't quite understand what the point is of having a lot of karma on Reddit. Number goes up? Yeah, but that's all right. Like what's but like what does the number do? What does the they sell the account? But who's out there buying a karma account? Number go up, serotonin makes brain happy. Yeah, okay. All right. People will discredit what you say if your karma is low. I've been on internet for a long time, man. I never check the amount of karma anybody has on Reddit. Maybe I'm using Reddit wrong, I don't know. You have a new 86 inch television, Nolan? 86 inch? That's almost like the size of my, um, ego. 86 inch? 86 inch, that's too big, isn't it? How, my, my television's 65 inch. The 65 inch at normie level now? My God. Nolan is rich in Lenny's and in real life. There it is, man. The trick is to sit really far away. Yeah, but that kind of defeats the purpose, no? You only have a 40-inch screen, Bunny Warren? Wow, man. Embarrassing, dude. 86-inch. I, like, I'm looking at pictures of 86-inch monitors or, or televisions, but this doesn't really give me a whole lot. Hold up, let me, like, this one. Here we go. Oh, this is a quality video, man. I kind of wish this lady had spent the money on a phone that has a camera that isn't completely zoomed in. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm ready for the grand reveal. Oh. Oh, it's going up on the wall. <laughs> Dude, that does look huge. <laughs> but it's really far off the ground now. Why is it so high up? That's too high up, isn't it? Oh, uh, they have like a, they have like a, maybe like a, a hearth type of thing over here. I think there used to be anyways. It's high because of cats? Well, I don't think my cats would have a, a problem jumping up on there regardless. A 98 inch television? This is a thing? Bro. 98 inch, that's like two and a half meters, right? Across? Seeing it on a screen like this doesn't even make it look that ridiculous. I feel like the only way to justify this big of a television is if you have one of those gigantic homes. Am I crazy? There's a subreddit for it? Of course there's a subreddit. Slash R slash TVs are too high. Okay, let's go to the old time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate this so much. No! I couldn't keep a straight face when the client told me where they wanted the TV. This is a joke though, man. This is not for real. What? You know, I saw one of those television things. I saw this in a video. I was, I was watching like one of those home tour things that like toward one of those like $100 million homes or whatever, right? One of those completely unrealistic things. That was like this TV that was like mounted in the bed, but it like would roll. I don't know, it was like a weird thing. Hold up, I don't know how I can find this. I guess it was it was something like the, uh, yeah, I have seen this thing before from LG, but this one was built into the bed. Yeah, so this is like, look, that's actually sick, man. Look, I, I'm not a, I'm not a huge television guy. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but that is cool. Okay, I do think, yeah, being able to hide your TV like that, 
I don't know what the price is of something like this, though. It says inquire to buy. It doesn't say buy. You have to inquire about it, so that probably means I can't afford it. But still, an idea is cool. Where does it go? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's 600,000. Oh god, okay. Is it possible to get too much oxygen into my base? Because I've got a feeling this is gonna generate so much. <laughs> Breathe, mother... <laughs> you are complaining about no oxygen? Breathe. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I feel like this is a bit risky, but it's okay. Loco, I've made you another meme. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, this is me very soon, okay? Breathe, mother... <laughs> I heard it wasn't included. Breathe. Good meme, good meme. Nine out of 10. You had to make up after that horrible one from yesterday. Oh, guys, I may have accidentally found a source of infinite uh, energy in real life. It's a theory of mine, but I don't understand it, okay? Here's the thing. We have a Roomba, right? That goes on at the start of every stream. So it like cleans the living room and it's been pretty great. However, about a year or so ago, we got like a, a rug, right? We got a rug that's underneath like, uh, what do you call this? Like a coffee table? Underneath the couch? And when we first got it, when the Roomba was going around, its little like tray would fill up. And we thought it was a bunch of dust that just came from the factory or whatever, right? However, ever since then, every, every single time the Roomba goes on, the little dustbin fills up all the way. It seems to be filled with like things that the rug is made out of. However, after about a year or so of this going on every single day, the rug still looks identical. Where does it come from? How does it work? I've got a feeling, man. We may have accidentally stumbled upon something special. I don't know if, uh, if it's actually true, but uh, it's a theory of mine. We didn't have the rug previously and there would never be any dust in it, no. I think it's magical. I think it's slowly consuming the rug. Oh, maybe the rug is growing? I have used a real vacuum on it too and the rug still seems to be consumed. And yet, the rug still looks identical. I found the infinity rug. Look, I have a similar rug. Took me three years until it stopped producing. Wait, you know what kind of rug I have in my living room? Hold up right now, Shadarki. <laughs> Hold up, man. You have a similar rug? <laughs> Maybe it looks through the window at night. Have you tried a professional cleaning service? The one that uses water and stuff? I have, but she doesn't like it when I call her professional. No, I'm, no, 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 no. It's, it's a joke, it's a, it's a joke. She's not home, she's not home right now. We're good, yes, we're, we're good. Clipped and shipped to Loran effective immediately. Some of you have literally done that, man. Every time I make like a small joke like that, immediately there's someone sending her the clips. At least she always knows, somehow. I don't know how she finds out. Someone's forwarding it, man. You were gonna surprise me with suddenly appearing in my basement? Wait until I come down there, and then yell, SURPRISE! <laughs> Sometimes you'd have to be there for weeks. But I don't have a basement. I... <laughs> He's been constructing a basement for me, man. That is quite the surprise. He's been digging underneath my home. Man, that is so considerate, Rashi. I never thought of that, man. At a hundred months up, you're gonna move in. Reasonable, reasonable. But then you'd have to leave Iowa behind, man. From what I understand, Iowa is an S-tier state. A lot of people think maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, California, Florida, Texas, or whatever. No, Iowa, that's the place. Ohio is S-tier? No, 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 no. Bad Bunny does no longer Twitch stream? The $5 a month lady no longer streams on Twitch? Did she not get enough dollars per month? Bad Bunny on Twitch, hold up. I don't know what her channel was. I can't even find it. Hold up, I searched Bad Bunny and the channel does not show up. Oh, she changed her nickname? Kira Chats? Oh. Yeah, she quit streaming so hard, guys, that she was live for the last time yesterday. And the one before that, two days ago. <laughs> this is the thumbnail of the stream. <laughs> Police. <laughs> okay, I see the content may have changed slightly, but in the wrong direction. I thought you'd be aware of this game, but you didn't even know. Wow. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. I figured of all people. Mugetsu, Gabriel. 
would know all these things. Disappointed. That's all I can say. What? <laughs> this is Leclerc streaming on Twitch? I didn't actually know he streamed on Twitch. Uh, la fake charlotte là. Ah! My girlfriend! <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend is on Twitch telling me to open her the apartment for her. Wait a second. <laughs> I've had that happen on my stream, but I don't have 10,000 live viewers. Aw, oh, man. She bought a sub for it? That's funny. I think they broke up, though, guys. If I recall correctly. Pig locked Dot out on the balcony once during Pig Fest. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Pogchamp! Pogchamp! Calm down! Pogchamp is destroying stuff, man. Pogchamp? Pogchamp, you now get to live on this schedule instead. Not like this. You also get to live on that schedule. Stop destroying my things! Not cool, bro. Did he give him the finger as well? I feel like he gave him the finger when he walked off. What a jerk. I love that the only way to get a flashlight in this game... I love and hate it, but the only way to get a flashlight in this game is by aiming down with your weapon. You don't you don't have it on permanently. Just kind of sick. Thank you, Corbin! Gifting a sub to the keeper. The UI design in this game is honestly brilliant. This is what needs to be done in every game like this. So much better. Like, I remember playing one of the... I think this was like GTA San Andreas or whatever, and I played like a hundred hours of that game, right? At some point I realized that I was never actually driving around while looking at the game. I would only drive around while looking at the minimap. It's just stupid. That just takes the entire game out of the game. This is so much better, man. The fact you actually have to focus on the screen. What are my impressions so far of this game? Uh, as f***ed up as it is, right? It sounds weird to, you know, look at this and, and be very positive because Everything's kind of a miss. Maybe it's ever so slightly repetitive, but it's like a strong 9.5 out of 10 up to this point. Honestly, uh, yeah, amazing. Maybe I'll get more negative as we go through this, though. I don't know how long the game is. From what I understand, it wasn't a super long game. Oh, no. Another one of those demon babies. Apparently, they can go outside. Are you dead? I don't know. Wait. Oh. Space does make noise, chat. <laughs> it's so f amazing. A lot of it is the music, though. The music is just so cursed. Listen to him gasping for air. Guys, guys, I was paying attention. I had 15 seconds, man. 15 seconds is a really long time. At least that's what Laurent tells me. We are not punished for our sins, but by them. So we're punished by our sins? What does that mean? Is the cookie I stole from the cookie jar gonna come and haunt me? I knew it. Should have never done- Oh! <laughs> that was not funny, game! Could have guessed that, I guess. Sons of bi- oh. Step on you. Not funny. Not funny at all. Ooh, what's this? Is that a new weapon? A ripper. Is that what I think it is? What? Well, that is not what I expected at all. Sorry, there was a thing that showed up on the right side of the screen that I did not read. What in the world? I thought I found a chainsaw or something. A bench! Ah! Huh? What? <laughs> oh, what 
does that do? Oh god, okay. Space bar just... Okay, just bounces it all over the place. That seems dangerous. That is not what you want to do, man. Maybe it's got one of those automated detector things where, you know, if it detects flesh, it just, just stops spinning, you know? <laughs> I'm sure it's got that, right? So if it would have hit me, not a problem, man. Um, I don't know where to go, guys. So this seems like a problem, but... Looks like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is research engines, right? Ready when you are. Mate, there's no safe point here! Okay, okay, I'm gonna get some oxygen first. I think I need to run. I think I need to run at the perfect moment, but I don't really know where to. The only problem, guys, is that the last time I saved was a while ago. And I don't think this game does quick saving in the same way that most other games do it. Just don't get hit. Oh, that's a good advice. Yeah, I agree. Oh my god. You're so f slow. <laughs> oh, it did quick save. Haha. -ha! Haters will say it didn't. Okay, okay. We'll f we'll go over there. We'll go to the left. I got stuck. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody act cool. Just pretend like no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, of course, you don't get hit, even though you didn't try- You didn't even try to avoid it. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I am gonna be out of oxygen before too long. Yeah, I know, Isaac! <laughs> I don't like this game. Yep, there you go. Hit him in the kneecap. Flawless. Yeah. Isaac really is a bit of a drama queen, man. Clutch? That was 10 seconds, guys. I think 10 seconds is a long time. There's no sound in space. I agree, Dr. Chalox. It just should be completely silent. That sounds fun. Just no sound effects at all. Actually, I'm technically in space right now! Oh my god, what is that? Oh, that seems bad. That seems... Okay, yeah, shoot at your own foot. Shoot at your... Shoot at your own feet. Oh, I think I should hit the ball. Hit the big ball. Oh god. Uh... Can you reload me? Thank you. What if I don't have bullets? Man, that freaking night is worm. We're back. Found a new weapon. Um. Fueled up for work, I think. Or fired up for work. I am gonna need a, uh, a flummin of F. Uh. Hunt! Schnell! Oh, my Flammen Waffe also has a, a laser. A short-ranged industrial torch. It cannot be used in environments without oxygen. Oh, jeez. Where are we, man? Oh, God. What a disgusting game. Screw you, man. Not funny. They met the yeah, they made the loading screens creepy now. I think we shouldn't be going down into this nest, Isaac. I'm not an expert, mate. And I understand you're very brave. You don't seem to care too much about much of anything, but... I think, I think, Isaac, you should just take it easy and, um... I don't know, maybe follow in Hammond's footstep, you know? Maybe, maybe compile a little bit of code. 
Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Stop that. Me, man, what's this? Oh, no. Burn. Jesus, man. Oof. I was trying to think of the engineering uh, behind this door because I feel like there's a little bit of oversight. My favorite thing about this map is hearing you rant about the carpet. <laughs> I go on and on about the f carpet on... Uh, what's it called? Royal Blood. Stupid carpet. You guys wanna- you guys wanna hear something funny about the carpet? I retweeted it this morning. Apparently May found something out about the carpet. Look at this! The carpet has to go! That widow mine is invisible! On the carpet! Actually insane. So, I guess layer-wise, the widow mine is in between the carpet and the bottom of the map. You have the same thing for hatcheries and nexi and whatnot. So if you have like, uh, if you have like the creep on the bottom, the carpet goes on top of that, and then on top of that is the hatchery. And it's a fun effect, but I don't think it's intended to, yeah, also hide widow mines. It's just swept under the rug, man. 12 years of Starcraft, you should know the worm goes in the darkest place, period. <laughs> what's Byron angry about? What? <laughs> Byron, what's your problem, man? That was a Nidus worm going up in a place that I missed? Is is okay. Violins are scary? No, violins aren't scary though. But I guess technically your voice is a string instrument, right? So like you can make I don't know. I was wondering why my right headphone was making noise. Okay. Ooh, thank you all. Did you hear that? She's making this noise. Right behind my head. Okay, thank you. I got a sandwich, guys. Well, I don't know if you can see, but I had a good sandwich. <laughs> she could have tapped your shoulder. That's dangerous. Tap my shoulder at the wrong time during this game. <laughs> You might get punched on accident, man. I don't want to, but... <laughs> God, that's so terrible. No. Is there any uh, loot nearby? There is some loot. I would like some... It's just water. It's just water, guys. Don't worry about it. What kind of sandwich is it? It's got egg and ham and tomato, and something that I found apparently is controversial in some other countries. It's got cucumber on it, which apparently some people consider to not be a good thing on sandwiches, which I never even thought about. Until someone brought it up. What's the summary of the story so far? We were on a spaceship, we we're an engineer. We were sent on a mission to repair another spaceship, but that spaceship is possessed. And our original ship that we used to get here is broken. Hey, sellout bar filled in fully. Thank you very much. I think it's it was lagging there for a second. For some reason, this sellout bar animation did not work properly. But well, the crew is infected by some sort of it's like a fungus virus type of thing. Either way, they're being rather aggressive. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys. Ah! You man. Why are we shooting? Not funny. Still not funny. Hey man. Oh no. Sometimes sometimes these guys can fire at range. Oh my god. That hurt, man. I was trying to select the weapon by clicking left mouse button after hotkey four. I wasn't trying to swing. You don't have to select your weapon. You don't have to confirm your choice. Just a single button press will do the trick. Ah, 
Ah, fantastic. Hey guys. Can you guys open doors? He's glitched out a little bit. One of his legs, anyways. One of the 12 legs. Not dead. Not. Ah! Not another one of those! No, 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 no! Oh no. I think I overkilled him pretty hard, man. I shot him like 17 times in the belly, but maybe I didn't need to do that. <sighs> Isaac, you did it. The Ishimura's moving again. No thanks to ever sabotage the f out of these engines. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. Wait, wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. But the ADS is offline. I've got the system mm. readouts here. Mm. I was drinking, you son of a... One of my favorite things about this game, and I know this sounds very silly. Loco, I'm out. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this game, I get it, man. This, this game is not for everybody. One of my favorite things about this game is that the AI, or sorry, the UI of this game is completely hidden. So there is no UI. Like, say, for example, I want to use my, this is the road. This is the direction we need to go. I can use that ability over there. Say I want to open up my, like, my, my inner inventory over here or the map or whatever. It's all, like, on the screen, but without being pulled out of the game, which is pretty sick, man. Really nice. It's just so immersive, man. The, the, the sound effects and the music. Like, even if you're not a big fan, look at my character's head also turning around, depending on where I'm looking. Ah, it's, it's really impressive. I'm honestly very impressed by this game. Even though it's really fucked up. That seemed unnecessary, okay? I'm only getting pulse rounds. I'm not getting for the weapon I currently have. Oh, there's something in there. Ah, oh, I accidentally closed it. Open! Oh, did I just grab it? I think I just grabbed the things that were inside there. Can I stomp on things? Oh, yeah, I can stomp on things. What about... No, no loot, no loot. Je ne parle pas français. Why are all the announcements in other languages, man? Just speak American. Hello. I found the captain. He's not doing well. All oh, right, we need security clearance. So I think what we're doing is we're stealing his keycard or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> Isaac, Isaac, it's time to step away from this current position you find yourself in. Okay, I have another weapon. Oh no, I need to melee. I think if I kill this guy with melee... Does that not work at all? I have not done a lot of meleeing. No, I think I need to hit him in the feet first. He, yeah. They don't take any damage from anything else. I was trying to get rounds again from my weapon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's the end of my health bar. <sighs> oh no, I'm dead. That's the first time I've died in this game. That's the first time I've died in this game. Let's try and not lose all of our health this time around to one guy. Okay. Okay, 
Clear the mark of enemies. I don't know what that thing is. What a game. Are you not dead? Oh my god, it still hit me. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. I don't have a lot of supplies anymore, guys. I think that's an issue. If space is dead, does that mean it's alive? It used to be, at least, yes. Ooh, there were things falling from the ceiling, which I'm not a huge fan of. Like, I am technically in space right now. I'm going, um... Uh, going around a star currently on a rock. Pretty large rock. There's other humans with me as well. And as far as I know, I'm pretty alive. Could be a simulation, though. I don't know. <laughs> that was unnecessary, game. You knew there was a shiny there, you son of a... What are you, man? That guy. <sighs> la 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 la. I'm just a marine in a spacesuit trying to avoid the night as worm. My team seems to be very relaxed about this whole situation, though. Like, sure, we may have lost a couple of our people. Sure, we may be never leaving this, but eh, whatever. I feel like the voice acting in the game doesn't really match the stress that we are in, but... Hello! Isaac. What's up, Hammond? No, no, keep that rifle close. What is that? The one that attacked me. I managed to trap him in here. Hi. Right. His face. I'm not seeing things, right? That's Chen. You can't help him, Hammett. He's... Mm. You're right. I should... The hell with it. Escape pod 47 launched. I worked with him for years. John's that was one of our crewmates? At least you spare becoming a monster. We're gonna fix this, Hammett? For them? Yeah. Come on. The ADS cannons. Hammond has just been chilling here, man. He hasn't really done too much. He's been giving us I some assignments, but... If no more asteroids come through the roof. I wasn't sure if we were ever gonna meet up again, though. That's not kinda nice to see. Loco, there's poo in your water. It's not poo, it's just yellow water. Okay? If yellow water comes out of your tap, would that be such a problem? Then think so. There's also blue. It's my yin yang water. We've discussed this, okay? There's a little bit of blue in the yellow and a little bit of yellow in the blue. And I think that's beautiful. I thought mixed drinks were all the hype these days. Free soup, man. Extra calories. Completely free. I love uh, calories. Calories are amazing. What is this? Uranium? Is that a problem? Highly radioactive substance. I feel like we should not be digging into this. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh... <laughs> nope. No thought about it for a little bit. Nope. We can get close to the uranium, just don't hit it. It's very, very calorie dense. Nice. You're such a sad cat. Oh man, you have such a tough life. Oh man. Yeah, I know, dude. You have it so hard. Like all day, your responsibilities are uh, um, sleeping, uh, eating, and then uh, more sleeping. Grooming himself, taking care of me. Yeah, yeah, he does a lot of that too. Scratching the wall. I know, dude. I know. Oh, well, now he's scratching again. Right over there. Okay, fine. I'll give you attention. I'll get you what you want, man.
Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, looking good. Looking good, man. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> it's like, ooh, door. Wait a second. Do I want the door? I would like to keep clawing at the wall. That's what I really like to do. Man, do I have a flashlight or something? I've already pressed F on the reflex like four times. Oh, it's all so dark. I hope I don't get a, uh, a flashlight. I thought you were a monster for a second. I'm sorry. Did I just go back down? I think I just went back down. I did. Oh! Fuck you, man. I already killed you, didn't I? Thought I already killed you, man. It's the music that does it, though. Like, it's not so much the monster, it's the... That does it in the background. I have not been here, by the way. There were just a bunch of dead monsters. I thought I'd already been here. <laughs> I don't need less lights. I need more. I want more lights. Please. I'm gonna turn this one off. And turn that one on. I think... Two is kind of pointless. Although there were a couple lights associated. Oh god, am I? No, I'll go here, where wherever this goes. Okay, fine. I'll just follow the blue light. This is gonna be fine. I'm not worried. I guess as long as I hold down my my right mouse button, as long as I aim down, I um. Do you have like armor or something? Oh, great. Oh, it's just four shots in general, I think. Okay, I have to... I don't know if I can stomp them when they're already on the ground, because they still have, like, swords for arms, you know? Yeah, shooting the body is just not useful at all. Maybe the game should have mentioned that. <laughs> They've only said it seven times so far. I suddenly heard a little bit of noise behind me. Loren told him a couple days ago that he can go into that uh, into that closet. He can go into the closet and just hang out. Yeah, so the way to open the door is by clawing at the door repeatedly. What about this one? Can we open this door too? Yeah, yeah, there you go. If you just do this often enough, at some point, the door will magically open. <laughs> He's smart. He's smart. Uh, his name is Toby. That's Toby. Ah, oh, fuck me. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, cat. He loves this shirt. He's a he's a big fan of this shirt with these little little dangly things. What are you doing, man? What are you? You want to look at the camera? Ooh, yeah, buddy. You want a treat? Okay, okay. <sighs> That'll get his attention. Here. Look. It's right here, dude. Toby. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh, no, he's sitting on a space bar. Hey! A real hunter. He did it. Okay, he keeps sitting on my space bar now. Did you eat it? Did you, did you get it? Oh, you're licking your lips. I think you got it. <laughs> Come on. He doesn't want to leave. Instead, we get more trouble. Okay, yeah, we're going to do the big switcheroo. We're going to do the big switcheroo. Toby is my hero. 
We're gonna do the big switcheroo. I think he heard me shake the treats. Yeah, he's looking at me. Look at look at his face. Like, yo, bro, I heard there were tweets or tr treats here. We have more treats. So this is Milo. Ooh, looking good, man. Yeah, yeah, I see it too. I see it too. Grab it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You oh god, you dropped it. <sighs> this is how he eats. For some reason, this guy does not understand eating. When Milo eats something, he he like picks it up in his in his mouth, and then he, for some reason, he drops half of the things he puts in his mouth again. He's a very messy eater. The moment he saw it, yeah, right away. Anyways, uh, Toby did a couple things. Uh, I think he sat on the space bar primarily, but. Oh, nice! Now I have claw marks on my on my um. Oh my god. Okay, I have claw marks on my mouse pad. Fantastic. Your cat or your dog does the same thing. She takes food out of her ball, then drops it on the ground, then eats it. My cat scoops food out of the ball with her paws, picks up individual pieces, moves away to chew them, then goes back for the next piece. I think that's just safety, man. You never know when the predators show up, right? What if they find out your smell? Oh, no. A horrible, horrible situation. Oh, fuck, there's one behind me. Ah. Uh, no! I'm in a corner. Stop it! Jeez, man. These things are scary. Should I stomp on that? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I thought that was a bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea, but I was gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Man, whoever designed the layout of this ship, completely drunk architect, dude. I don't know if anyone has tried mapping the way that this game works, but I feel like you're going like... <laughs> There's little rooms everywhere. Here on the Ishimura, we use hydroponic technology and organic plant cloning to grow produce as high quality as that on planet Earth. Our plants are delicate and pH sensitive, so please take care when you step and clear of, or keep clear of all contaminants. Visitors should be mindful of volatile chemicals and varying gravity. Not funny! Not funny! Don't like that. That was the sprinkler system. Sound effects in this game are so sick. <sighs> oh no 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 I don't like that idea. Stop that, whatever you are, I don't like it. How many times do I have to shoot this thing? I'm out. Guys, I don't have any bullets. Am I dead? Oh. Bait right there from the developers, man. Okay, fine. I'll buy some rounds. <laughs> okay, guys, so believe it or not, we're gonna get grabbed here by a tentacle monster in a moment. Spoiler alert. And... tentacle. On the leg. Ah! Killed it! Not even close, baby. How did I know? Hacker. <laughs> 